It's Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz, and we are on the Central Coast today, and we are joined by Michael LeBrun. He is the general manager of the Napomo Community Services District, which is where and is what? Uh, right, the Napomo. <laughs> uh, first of all, thank you, Brad. Thank you for having of me course. today and your interest in our district. Of uh, the Napomo Community Services District is, uh, we like to call the gateway to the Central Coast, where the south end of uh, San Luis Obispo County, uh, right. just north of the Santa Maria River, which is the dividing line between Santa Barbara County and San Luis right. Obispo County. Uh, we're a community services district, which means we provide a limited number of services to the community. We're not full service like a city might right. be. Uh, so many of our services are, are still held with the county. Right. Uh, but we provide primarily uh, water and sewer service and some other uh, solid waste services. Well, let's talk services. about water. How sure. could you not? Sure. We're facing a dramatic drought, as you know. Absolutely. The governor has ordered mandatory restrictions, and the state water board set up a formula whereby districts like yours will face cuts, mandatory cuts of 8% to 36% right. based upon 2013 levels. In the end, Napomo's target was? 28%. That's high. Right. That's a high number. It is. I mean, there's only two higher than that, 32 and 36. <laughs> I don't mean to, you know, run with salt into a wound. Right, right. But there's good news. There is. Um, uh, first of all, those percents are, are based on our per capita use back in 2013. Right. Napomo does have some large acre lots, it and does. that's what has us up there. We're a rural community, but with some larger lots. Right. So 28%, uh, that's our goal. Uh, our June pumping numbers, June 2015, right. uh, these numbers just in and right. verified by my engineer, 30 31 percent uh, below our June 2013 production numbers. Uh, that's nothing short of stunning. I mean, it, it truly is. We're very excited. How did you hit that? I mean, I, obviously, I'm sure right. you've driven around, you've looked, you've talked with your consumers, your sure. customers, your friends. Sure. Wow. All the above. Um, and and we've been out. Um, uh, the district's lo the local groundwater basin that that uh, is we're dependent on for the majority of our supply has been in. Um, has, has been in a state of decline for right. many years. This drought has really pushed it over. So we've had public discourse for going on, uh, you know, three, four, five years and now. And let me ask you about your groundwater basin because sure. I know a it's adjudicated, I believe. That's correct. Uh, B though, it has provided you your sole source of water. We'll talk about what's coming next. Sure. But because of your location and the decline, are you facing what's on a seawater intrusion? It's absolutely our number one concern as we draw that groundwater basin down, and, and of course it's at historic lows right, right. now. Uh, the, the ocean level is steady and constant, right. and that invites seawater intrusion. We've seen conditions since uh, last spring, uh, or actually since the fall, fall of 2014, uh -huh. conditions exist now in the groundwater basin where we do have uh, potential for that uh, uh, west to east flow gradient, in other words, salt water to be advancing. Has it? It has not as far as we, we measure um, the quality of wells along the coastline okay. we, in coordination with the county. That's looked at monthly and, and there's no indication at this point that chlorides have started to rise. And chlorides right. would be an indication that salt's coming in. That's correct, yeah. Okay, so you had been relying exclusively on that groundwater. That's correct. But I know that the district has been working diligently for two decades to try to seek other sources, and the timing couldn't have been better because the deal has come to, to fruition. Tell us about it. That's correct. So, uh, again, over 20 years ago, the board, uh, as, a, as a public water provider, provider um, mm -hmm. the, the best security is multiple sources. Right. And uh, so we've been after a second source of water for over 20 years. Um, you, you know, just uh, uh, as you can imagine, uh, a, a long, tortuous path. Oh, I can imagine. Um, earlier this month, mm -hmm. uh, we started delivering supplemental water. Uh, we are, we are, we have completed a 17 million dollar project. It's our first phase of our supplemental water project. Uh, we are are delivering water as we speak. From where? The water is coming from the city of Santa Maria. The city of Santa Maria uses both the same groundwater basin, okay. but it, 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 they access it in a much more healthy area of the basin. I see. And the city of Santa Maria has the largest allocation of state water of any community here on the Central Coast. Ah. And they continue to plan for more state water now that we've we, we have a contract and, and we are making and they're good on our okay. Area. I mean, of course, let's be parochial and only care about Napomo, but sure. be that as it may. No. I mean, they're going to be fine. 
and a absolutely even you're taking some the, and again the city's been planning for this for some right. time I, I consider them uh, one of the preeminent uh, water resources planners on the central coast they have a, a large healthy basin a good access to it and they have an excellent allocation of so state what water. is this going to do for Napoma will we see rates drop I mean rates no, no, meaning water rates because you're getting water from I don't know. <laughs> the, the mere suggestion is no, blasphemous no. Well, and laughable. It's, it's but 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 it begs the question, well, and, and let's talk about it because sure, I do sure. want to yeah. ask you, and we'll we'll broaden it out a bit. Okay. As you uh, conserve more water, the blessing is you're conserving water. The curse is you're not getting enough as much revenue because right. you're taking in less water. Correct. Uh, or, or taking in less cash because less water is being used. At the same time, though, the challenge becomes your delivery costs are the same. It's not as Correct. If, so how are you managing that? Right. That so deficit? we're 70, 80 percent fixed cost. Okay. Uh, it, it, right. Gallon of water delivered or 100,000 acre exactly. feet. Um, and so 30% conservation means a 30% cut in revenue. Right. So, you know, from a business model standpoint, that is a concern. Um, when you mentioned, uh, so, so our rates uh, are geared to, to we, we have a, a, a tiered rate structure. Right. It is geared to recognize that there's going to be some elasticity. As those rates go up, use will go down. Okay. So the rates have to go up an increment more to make sure we're right. covering it. But with supplemental water, that for, groundwater is, is always the first to get overused because it is the least expensive right. source of water. So this new supplemental source is considerably more expensive uh, than delivering groundwater. I understand. So uh, what our, uh, uh, proud to announce that water's flowing. Right. I'm also, we're, we're right up front with our customers. We've been talking about it for over a year. We had a, a, a approximately 30% rate increase become effective on July 1 mm -hmm. uh, uh, earlier Recently. this month. Uh -huh. Yes, this this uh -huh. July 1. And, and we're making sure customers understand that uh, because we bill two months in the rears. Right. So that rate increase is effective now. Customers need to to change their use now so that they don't see a, a shock in that bill in the fall. As you know though, mm -hmm. there has been a decision out of Orange County yes. that's looking at how districts are charging their customers. Right. What this district, San Juan Capistrano, had been doing is essentially penalizing those that were using an excessive amount of water pursuant right. to a certain scale they had set up. And the court ruled that was impermissible. That's correct. Um, they said there needs to be a direct link to the cost. Cost of service. The cost of service. Correct. And so you have a tiered structure. You yes. are looking to have those that use more water pay more. Are you in compliance with this decision, although we don't know where the decision will go ultimately? Right. And so uh, the answer to that is uh, yes, we feel we're in compliance. Our, our council has looked at it. They continue to track how that San Juan Capistrano decision right. will play out and what the breadth of that decision will mean. In the meantime, uh, we do have cost of service linked tiering. And, and what we see is we're going to, as we talked about, we're just right. commencing supplemental water now. We are scheduled to look at a water rate study again in about 12 months. I it's see. a process that will take at least six months to complete and then define a, a rate, an updated rate schedule. Mm -hmm. And with our now our, our, our significant differential in cost of our supply, being supplemental right. water being so much higher and, and uh, uh, groundwater less expensive, we'll be able to even more more firmly tie that back to cost of service, and those upper tiers will reflect supplemental water costs. I understand, and they can be. I think they'll become quite a bit steeper. Frankly. In the end, though, you must be very proud of your constituents, your residents, your consumers, and my board of directors, and, and your board of directors. Well I, 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 because, yeah. as you, as you know, Brad, that's over 20 years. I've had, you know, the board has changed so many right. times, and and it takes a board that stays focused. And, and you get a number of directors come on and say they're against it initially, You'll come and then back. they learn, of course. His name is Michael O'Brien with Napomo Community Services District. I'm Brad Palmer. It's this is Charter Local Edition.